In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're going to go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. We ended up driving quite a bit further than we thought we were going to today, but this is Bonavista, and we are right next to the lighthouse in one of the locations that we found in Ioverlander, and we think it's gonna be a great place to stay the night. And Carrie's talking to somebody over there that knows who we are, that's subscribed to our channel or knows somebody that's subscribed to our channel, and they told him to look out for us why they're here on the island. Look at this sunset. I hate to say anything early, but it is setting up to be an incredible sunset. There's no clouds right there against the horizon. And ooh, I hate to say it, but it could just light this sky up if it keeps going like this. Good morning from Bonavista. Currently we are about one kilometer back from the lighthouse on this little, well, it's a pullout spot and then a dry camping area. And it's listed on iOverlander and Google Maps as a place to camp for free, which is amazing considering where we are at. And I have never been to Ireland or Scotland, hopefully someday, but every time I just walk on a trail here, I feel like that's where I'm at. So let me know if you've been there, if this looks anything uh, similar. I'm super excited to be here because we've got lots of activities planned. This is a destination location. I want to tell you all about them now, but I think I'm going to hold back and we'll show you as we get to the different activities. But this is something, something really special. And I can't wait to get started and explore. We've got our van down here by that picnic table. And then in the distance, you'll see a Jeep and a tent. And that's Ed and Maria. They're trying to get a little bit of a wind block from that building, but today is not windy for a change, for the first time probably. We drove into town, which is only a few kilometers away, but this big blue building, it's the visitor center, and also it's the port authority. And we have found out that if you go on the left-hand side of this building in one of the side doors and check in with the port authority, you can buy showers, and they're $4 a piece, and that is super cool because we were overdue. Not only showers, but they have a few laundry machines in there too, and they allow you to do laundry, just make sure you bring your loonies and quarters with you. This location also is where the boat set out on a couple of their puffin and whale tours that they do. And I don't know if any are going out right now. It's been stormy the last couple of days, but I wouldn't doubt it. If the waves stay down just a little bit, these boats start going out on tours. With the seagulls making such a noise, we went to investigate, just as Captain Gordon and his crew were unloading their catch of the day, snow crab. Hi. 
We did not expect to all be invited on the boat, but we happily did so and did our best to stay out of the way. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of crab in there. Hi. Hey. We watched Captain Gordon multitask, communicating to the dock crew, handing tubs to the deck crew, all while cleaning our crab and giving us cooking instructions, along with his list of his favorite crab dishes. Perfect timing. Yeah, just put them up at the dock right when they're offloading. It was. Put them up yeah. there in the sink. Oh, yeah. That's, Look at these babies. How much crab is that? Oh, well, I told him 10 pounds, and he's going to charge me for 10 pounds, but he threw it in like another 10. So we have a good 20 pounds of crab. I don't Snow know crab. how we're going to eat 20 pounds of crab. Uh, it's going to be Happily. a challenge. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a really good effort. <laughs> we're oh. going to have to invite any neighbors over. Yeah. That's we're awesome. Crab, the crab bigger, oil tonight. The bigger question is how are we going to cook that crab? Who's got the uh, big pot? It's going to is multiple pots and multiple <laughs> batches. We'll get through it. We'll figure it out. We'll be one simmer and every, you know, by the time we eat the Lots next. of butter. We might need more butter. Yeah. We might need more butter. <laughs> How much water are we going to have on the floor on the way back? I see about half of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going to be soaked up in this towel. See how good Dave's driving skills are. Yeah, they're not very good. Nice and slow over the bumps, Dave. Watch out for the potholes. 20 pounds, maybe 25 at the most, of snow crab for 50 Canadian dollars. <laughs> now that's a heck of a deal. I don't know how we're going to eat that much snow crab. I do. <laughs> so the process is, Ed's going to clean all 25 pounds of these. <laughs> and, and we have to eat them. Actually, the guy oh. did a really good job. He cleaned them for us. He just said to rinse them in salt water. So that we're doing an extra rinse and then we're gonna steam them in ocean water. And then it's time to eat them with some butter. And butter too, it does. So between Maria and I, show them your pan, Maria. This is the size pan she has. <laughs> this is the size pan I have. That was not gonna work. No. So Maria came up with the idea of using the turkey roasters, which is perfect. So we got two, one to steam them in and one for the lid. And Did we show them in, the, in there yet? Look, it looks perfect. It fits perfectly. Yeah. Ooh, and it's starting to boil. Oh yeah. It's actually changing color already. Say 15 more minutes. All right, let's do it. Huh? Hey Siri, set the timer for 15 minutes. Better get that butter out. Oh, that's hot. I'm gonna set the butter right on top of it. Right, it's going. Hang on, we're getting butter. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Are we ready for the big reveal? Woo! Ooh, that looks oh, Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Don't let that beautiful sunshine fool you. We sat here and ate our delicious crab in the freezing cold. We cannot wait to go inside, have some hot chocolate, and play a game of Uno. It's been busy for at least 20 minutes. Polishing 20 minutes. off at least, right? Longer? Yeah. Maybe. Sounds like hours. <laughs> hours. Finishing off the last of the crab, deshelling it, and you can see that big old tub. Oh, a a pure a snow crab. crab. That's going to be yummy in the future. Yes, sir. Baxter. Baxter! <laughs> and here's a view that you normally don't see. We have swivel seats, both driver and passenger. 
The passenger, I could not live without. Absolutely love it. Would do it again in a heartbeat. The driver, that's a little bit of a different story. Um, it interferes with the, <clears throat> excuse me, the emergency brake. And because we put the swivel seat in after our build, the couch is a little too close. Um, so this arm does come off if we want to swivel it. And normally when we're out boondocking in the middle of nowhere, we never swivel this seat. We always have it ready to go in case we need to leave in an emergency. But here we're playing cards every night. We need the extra seating and there doesn't seem to be any you know, big chances of emergency. No, we're gonna stick with red. Oh! oh. I knew he was Slide out to sell them. I was already <laughs> mad because the only red card I had was These a, are 50, reverse. right? Oh, that's 50, yeah. 50, See, that was like three. Like so if you didn't play nothing, I still would have won with the three. Thank you. You making it look warm? Yeah. It's just so hot out here. We need an ice cream. It's such I ice cream weather. <laughs> if you guys don't know by now, Dave loves his ice cream, mm. specifically banana splits. Yep. And you've been waiting for a month and a half to get ice cream in Newfoundland. Oh, this is good. Good choice too, because a lot of places that we have found have been soft serve and I wanted hard ice cream. So this is our first stop for ice cream. And I think I got black raspberry cheesecake. Uh huh. It's delicious. Super good. And it's June 1st. It's summer. It's June 1st. Just it's about summer. summer. Even though it feels like um, winter. winter still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never too early in the year for ice cream though. Today we're exploring Dungeon Provincial Park and we're looking forward to this. This is a site that we've heard about for days if not weeks and we're finally here to check it out for ourselves. I guess we don't have to walk very far, it's right there. I was thinking we had to hike to it. Well, let's go take a look.
Oh, wow. Oh, that is super cool. And you can walk around it across the bridge. Wow, and there's been people that have swam in one of these tunnels and then swam out the other tunnel, but they don't advise it because it could be disastrous. And it's a long swim too. I think it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It was better than expected. Would have been disappointing if it would have came now. Yeah, I'd be like, where is it? <laughs> Now, when we were driving here, it was blue sky, but it's very foggy right now. So I don't know if we're gonna get to see them. We can hear them. So let's go see if we can find some. If you come to Elliston, it's not only about puffins, but it's also the root cellar capital of the world. So no matter where you go in town, you're going to see a root cellar somewhere. And this one here just is open to the public to come in and check it out. And it's dark in there and it's just a cellar, but a good place to keep things cool. Maybe moist, I don't know. But this one, it looks like it could possibly still be in use. Oh. You cannot come to Bonavista without stopping at Elston to see the Atlantic Puffins, the official bird of Newfoundland. Atlantic Puffins are quite small seabirds weighing in about one pound. They spend about eight months of the year at sea hunting for small fish. They can dive to depths of 200 feet 
and can hold 60 to 80 small fish in their beak at one time. Puffins only come to land to mate and nest from April to August. They raise their single puffling during the summer and return every year to the same burrow with the same mate. My favorite thing about this location is being so close to the water and being able to hear the waves all night as we try and sleep. My favorite thing is the location. There's yeah. so much to do here. There's hiking trails any which way you want to go. There's picture opportunities. There's puffins. There were icebergs, there was ice cream. Yes, it has, <laughs> it's got everything. It's only a few miles from town. Yeah, and this is actually the John Cabot, Cabot, right? Yep municipal dry camping area yeah. so it's a legitimate free camping location um, you don't have to camp down in the area that we're camped at you can camp up in the parking lot and i should go right into rig size don't <laughs> yeah, you think? Yeah. yeah okay so you can get almost any size rig in here i would say the bigger rigs are going to have to stay up in the parking lot don't bring the giant class A pulling a trailer because you're going to have trouble finding camping anywhere to, up here. This spot, this parking lot where we are, is the only spot you're going to find that where you can turn around. Yep. If there are a lot of cars here, it's going to be trouble. Do not take your trailer up to the lighthouse because that is going to be a fiasco to turn yeah, around. It is. There is no turnaround spot. It's busy all the time and it's going to be a, a stressful situation. Yep. And check out iOverlander if you have a chance because there are several places that you can free camp here. Just make sure you read the reviews to yeah. make sure they're current. As far as amenities go, it's pretty awesome here. We have picnic tables, we have, port they're not ported, they're outhouses. There's four outhouses, there's trash, and I'm getting three bars of LTE Verizon. Yes, so that's, we've been spoiled, that's pretty cool. We have been very pretty spoiled. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we are about three kilometers away from town. And Riddle. did you want to talk a little bit about the showers? Yeah, so at the Harbor's, uh, Harbor Master's office in town, they offer showers and laundry Monday through Friday from 9 to 4.30. It's $4 a shower. They are super clean, very big, and super hot. Yeah, and the lot, there's only two washers and two dryers, but they are open to the public. So I don't know of any other place in town that offers laundry. Yeah, it was there is so much to do here like i said earlier you can hike right from here up to the lighthouse if you get a chance it's six dollars to tour inside the lighthouse 
It's super cool. It's uh, Restored Primo. It was super interesting. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, you can see puffins from the lighthouse. You can hike the other direction and you can hike to the Dairy King. Yeah. Where we got, Dave says, the best ice cream he's ever, ever had. You can drive four miles to Elliston where you can see thousands of puffins. We're right near Dungeon. Uh, the Dungeon Provincial Park. Well, yeah. There is so much to do here. Uh, I will say that if you come here, this is June. This is the first week of June and uh, temperatures are not going <laughs> above 50 degrees. In fact, tonight it's gonna be 37 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, it's foggy. The locals are telling us that June is the drizzle foggy month. Yep. So if you come here, come with warm clothes and come windbreakers. Yes. One tip for Newfoundland, bring a windbreaker. Yeah, you're gonna need it everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we forget this if you're on the coast and you're a little fishing village and you like seafood, always stop at the docks and see if you can buy anything fresh. Yeah, and it seems like somewhere around between 12 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon seems like the best time to catch the boats as they get to the, yeah. the harbor. And you might have to, you know, scout around and come back the next day, but it's so worth it if you can catch it on time. I mean, the crab feast we had is... Yeah something i will never forget in my life yeah, it was just incredible it's a good experience <laughs> oh we got two dogs with us here wanting to play ball okay so i think we covered it all i think we did yeah definitely highly recommend this location absolutely all right well we hope you enjoyed the video and stick with us subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and we will see you next week if you would like to support our channel please consider becoming a patron Thank you for watching.